Hi, so I'm Tammy with The Peach Life. We have Mousy here today. Her little name's Pix Marie, but Mousy is wanting to hang out in art journal with us. So I'm gonna show you a few things in my art journal today. I'm also gonna show you a couple of the art journaling kits that I have in my Etsy shop and show you how I utilize some of them in my planners and journals and art journals and goodies. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna move these aside. This is actually the guy I need. I want to also share with you that my Hello Kitty little journal booklet sold out really quick in my Etsy shop. I have mine um, that I like to put my little washies in, but I will be getting some more of those. And so I will add those to my shop. So take a look. And then I went ahead and added the few Wonka journals. It's nice and thick. I believe it's like 232 pages. It comes with a super cute golden ticket and it has the cute Wonka lining inside and a back little pocket. So those are super fun. And this is one of the new ones. Mine's really written in, so I wanted to show you one of the new ones. And then here, we're gonna go through, um, and I'll show you, I believe it is this kit here, the Hello Kitty one. Um, this one, it's not necessarily the Hello Kitty one, but it does have quite a bit in there. And I believe I used it, yeah, I used some of it here. So let's go ahead and open that up and take a look. I'm gonna move my washi. Well, I'll actually put my washi there. And my little hot water here. Okay, so it comes with this really cute, large paper clip, which is perfect. And then some little washi tape, which I always take that off and we'll use those in my little booklet. So we will just put that guy aside. And let's go ahead and open this one up so you can see all the goodies inside. Okay, and then I save my bag and I will usually cut the bag up and use it in my journal, sometimes trim it down, put goodies in it and tuck it inside. So we'll kind of go through that. And then I'm gonna move this down just a little bit so I can show you what's inside here. Not all the little bags have a tea, but sometimes there's tea, sometimes there's little Japanese candy, it just sort of varies. So I knew one of the bags had tea, so I got some hot water ready. There we go. This one's cute. It has like a, a strawberryness to it, so I really love that. And I save when I get new or different, I save my little um, bags so that I put one of my new teas, if I love it. In my little art journal. Let me pull up my sleeves here a little bit because they're really a little bit long. It's a little cold today. Okay, so some of the things in this particular stationery kit I've used already. So let me go ahead and just go through this so you have sort of an idea. Look how cute the coloring already is. So you have an idea of what is in this particular one. Now these envelopes, I just love my envelope so much so I take and I tuck that back portion in and then I typically will like add some little cuteness let's see we got some little apples so that is perfect for Hello Kitty I will add those on here and then I usually put like my extra little goodies and stuff in there <clears throat> Excuse me, let me also show you. Let me grab, sorry. <coughs> today, oops, today we're just going through all sorts of little goodies and seeing. I use my little stationary envelopes in my little kit. So I like that I'm able to sort of dig here there we go and get what I need but I also love that if I want I can pull my little envelope out and it could be on the go so I use the small the standard letter envelope and then 
the smaller check size envelope. I love to mix and match those and keep my extra like little goodies in those. I'll also show you that I keep them in like a little file. And so, let me see here. Okay, so I keep them in my little file and I can flip through there and I can also pull out and just take something with me if I'd like to. I have those little envelopes in my Etsy shop. If you guys are interested, I like to always have like items that I'm sharing and using and showing you also available. So I like to be able, what I see on the videos and different things that people share, I like to be able to have an option to be able to purchase those items as well because they're so cute and people are using them. Um, so I wanna, so that was really important to me because a lot of times you can't get those items that people are using in their particular planners. So I have that available for you guys. Um, now, will they sell out? Yes. <laughs> But the point is I, I do have like options. So, so again, so here's the little, um, envelope filled with stuff. It comes with like a little goodie bag here of some die cuts, some additional little, um, cute little trinket goodies to add into our planners. I love this little pocket. So all of these items come from my own personal stationery. So I am sharing with you guys in these kits the same items I'm utilizing. I'm going to take a little sip of my tea real quick. I love that strawberry one so much. Okay. Some little stickers. Some tickets. This is a little sticker journal card, die cuts, and um, lots of cute little paper type ephemera goodies. Let's see here. Um, Post-its, multiple little post-its and doily. Love. So cute. So this particular little guy is what I used here in my my journal. I attached him in with a little tape and washi tape and I like that I'm able to see sort of behind there and utilize that for like a little extra goodness. So this is adorable. A little library pocket more little post-it guys and these papers fit pretty much close if you're using an A6 you may have to trim in a pinch maybe not but they're also really cute I use them in my A5 also Adorable. this one's front and back some little Hello Kitty and a little bit more so cute Okay, so this one came with a little envelope, which is like a cute little size to store like at the back of your little A6, extra little goodies. So I put that in there for that reason. Some kits will come with the longer envelopes to put your um, additional goodies in. Again, I just decorate with a little washi tape. And those are used to just kind of save. You can always flip them open and washi tape so your goodies don't fall out. Or you can use some sort of um, file type folder, again, like I have, that has my um, little stationary goodies I use. I'll do a little video showing you a little more in depth what I keep in here if you guys would like. Okay, so. Let me go ahead and move that. But I just wanted to share with you like a little way or if you're wondering what, am I, what should I do with these little cute envelopes, there's a little option for you. Okay. You don't have to utilize it for that, but I just sort of tucked it in there for that reason. 
Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna put this little kit back together since many of these items I've already used in my um, personal planner, my little art journal booklet. So I wanna make this kit uh, available because I think I may only have like five of this one left. This one's cute. I like to put a little like adhesive and use it as like a little flip in my booklet. So I'm going to tuck this one in. I will put a little a tea bag back in there for you guys. I will leave it with the little washi on so somebody will get this little goodie one in their kit. I'll tuck that in there. And it's got such a really great uh, paper clip. I love those. And let's see here, where did my bag go? Oh, here it is. And like I said, I would totally use my bag and either cut that up and make cuteness for it or use it to store other little goodies. Okay, so I'm gonna tuck all that in there. And then I want to put a new little washi over that. Let's see. Where is my Hello Kitty? Okay. Well, I guess I don't see my Hello Kitty at the moment. So I'm going to put this for now. And then I will add a little more Hello Kitty postal washi to it. But I just want to get that sealed up. Okay. So there we go, this, that's this one. They're really packed full of lots of cute goodness. So um, let me go through and let's do another one. This one, oh, I love this little guy. It comes with a peach high chew. It's so yummy and delicious. I love the peach. Let's see here. I don't think I've used much of this one yet. I think this may have like a lot of my new little um, stationery that I got while at Disney World at Epcot. I typically try to save, be careful and save all that so I can use, use that in my journal. So I will be a little careful and I typically could have peeled that a little differently, but I will you can do it however you choose, but I would definitely save that and use that in my journal. Maybe if I'm sharing about one of my little planner meetups or something, but I would add it in. Okay, so we got the So Yummy I Choose. They're so good. Let me sip my tea. Okay, this one's got a cute little some cute paper clips. A little, it looks like a little vintage sort of ticket. A little Planner Girl sticker. A little Peach Life sticker. And again, these little um, kits vary in price. I like to really pack a lot of them full of goodness for you guys. Okay, that's my little curling iron burn. So it is left a pretty good scar so I'm working on that guy to get him away. These are cute little um, like vintage style little checks and some cute little index stickers. Tickets, I love using tickets in my little books. Some cute little, is it hexagon shapes and dies. A little sticker, a postal one. I love postal stuff. This is so cute. A little post-it guy. So cute. Little Totoro. He's adorable. Some more. He's just so cute. I love that. That is such a cute, fun kit. Oh, these are so cute. These little post-it guys I got special when I was in um, Santa Monica in California. It's like a little Polaroid vintage style post-it. And it comes with another little post-it of this cute little bear guy. Some others. Sometimes it's only one post-it. Sometimes it's several post-its. 
it just sort of depends. If I have more, I share the more. These are adorable. These, I believe, are actually from Hobonichi, these little post-its. Work in progress. And little notes. These are just like all little wonderful goodness to add anywhere into your planners or art journals. Okay, that's so cute. That's cute. I love this little booklet because you can sort of just add that into a page there in your like little journal, washi that down. I'd trim that probably a pinch. But if I put it in my A5, I definitely would not trim it. And then add some little cute photos and things and some more little goodies. And that would be a cute flip through. You can see that would, if you put that in your A5, you wouldn't need to trim that down. You just washi that in and it's perfect. It's cute because you are able to, um, see lots of your little things in the background if you wanted to add it in. Okay, I like a lot of little um, flip goodies in mine. So I try and include those um, as the same little things I utilize. All right, so there's that little goodie pack. I think I had it somewhat. Well, I will figure that out in a bit. I should probably do a little envelope since I sort of have that array. I'm going to just go ahead and tuck that in the envelope because those are so great. I think I'm going to add an envelope to go back and add one to all the little kits because I just love having them too. Here, let me add a little cuteness real quick. we add oh definitely these little guys these guys are so cute okay a little funness and maybe these little guys would be cute let's see all right I just feel like that is so much cuter. All right, so that's that little kit. So I think I'll go ahead and tuck that in and somebody will get that little guy. There. I will put a new little piece on there so that you don't get the little ripped one. Okay, so that is the one that has the Totoro items in it. And then let's see here. Okay, we're not too long. I'll show you, well, I got a couple little kits. This one's Kiki, it's so cute. It comes with a pen, a pencil, sorry, a pencil. And this one is packed full with little Kiki stickers and papers and cuteness. This one's adorable. Oh, they're all adorable, I love them all. And again, I save all my little washi that are on the bags and I utilize those in my art journals. So let's see what's in this kit real quick. Okay, oh, this one has a strawberry tea. Love. All right, I'm gonna move that out of the way so you can get an idea what's in this little kit. This one is full of goodness too. Hello Kitty. Oh, some Hello Kitty. Really cute, fun stickers. Love it. Look at the little our wall guy. Is that what, how you say it? And then this. These are like some of my favorites to add either over my whole page or washi tape them in as little flip throughs. I love that so much. 
this one. This one has like little pop dots. This is a post-it. That's so cute. Okay, and some more little post-it guys. All right. Soap. Oh my gosh, stop. Cute donuts. Little tickets. I love tickets. Let's see what else is in here. Uh, oh, cute. Hello Kitty memo. Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorites. And I share, sharing these in the little kits. I did not have very many left, but it's a Yahtzee Hello Kitty um, little sheet. So when you play Yahtzee, but this is, oh my gosh, I have to say that in my little journal. I thought that was so cute because now when you get the Hello Kitty one, it doesn't come with those cute Yahtzee sheets. It just comes with regular. So some Tokidoki stationery. Little coffee post it. Oh, Hell Kitty. Some more Tokidoki. A little doily with a donut post it on there. Little cute fun heart stickers. The little, is it Holakuma? I may say that wrong, but it's. I say the Lacuma little post-it, some stationery, more post-its for Lacuma, and a really cute, fun color, um, large paper clip, a little die, and some tags. Love it. That is so good. So some of these items I've used in my particular kits so far. Some of them I already have aside to be used in my um, little stationery haul. So this is where I keep all my like newer or little specialty goodies. But again, anything that I have of my personal, I always um, will share and add to my little kits so that you're able to enjoy those same items as well. And then don't forget it has two cute little washi tape pieces that you could utilize. Okay, so I'm going to put these little goodies away and then um, that's cute. And then I wanted to share with you guys um, maybe like a few of my completed pages in my Fobonichi A6 and A5. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. I have um, just a few already for the beginning of the year. Some are not quite finished, like completed, and others like a little work in progress still. Oh, let me scoot that up, I'm sorry. I'll go back and flip through some of those for you. January, I'm adding little tiny photos I'm gonna do in here. Let me see here. This is our little new year. And this is the little smaller HP sprocket size photos. This I have a little special um, saying I want to add to that spot. And I have this. And these little guys are in one of the kits here hmm one we have not opened yet i believe it's this kit on my etsy he's adorable and i think you get several of him maybe like a little packet of five and then this and then this little guy opens flips and then he opens to reveal like a little message inside then here and here and I'll go back and write my little items in there this is a little page I'm working on I really love this I took the little saying from Mark Twain that I love um, and decorated it made it like a little cutesy and printed those up on sticker paper so I'm thinking about adding that in the little kit because it's so good that little saying from Mark Twain. And then I have this little picture I want to add to that page. 
here's a few more little things that I'm working on. And again, I add in here favorite little quotes or poems or inspirational um, words or just really my thoughts for the day. These little candies, there's some chocolate little candies and it's in one of the little kits and they're so yummy good. Love it. And so um, I, use, I use the little packaging from that candy. That's the one right here. This is from some other little Japanese candies. This is like the little Hello Kitty, that paper, and some of these goodies are in the kit in this. And then you just sort of mix it and match with all your own little goodies. I use stuff from all sorts of collections and stuff. Okay, just some more little, I think we're at the, the end of there for now. And then I just sort of keep little goodies and things in the back, in the front. And then we'll take a quick look at my Hobonichi Cousin, which is the A5. Move that over. And I just sort of keep um, some sticker packs in here. Here I have um, washi samples that people have given me at little planner meetups or um, some of my last, like I might only have a last little bit on my roll, so I have added them to here, but I have a new little system for that, so I'm going to share that with you guys um, on another video I have. Okay, let's tuck that back here. These are like little washies, they're little booklets, and you can peel individual washies, and then you peel off the little backs and then they're washi tape texture. So I like to keep some different styles in here for on the go. I got these from a friend. They're so cute. They're the little kitties. Little tabs. Okay. So I think I showed those little stickers. So here is my Epcot cover. And I used my pamphlet from Disney and then Disney World and I decorated that. I'm actually putting some Disney kits together and I have some extra pamphlets and things. So those will be in there as well. Some are Christmas theme, some are Disney everyday theme. And um, it's so cute. So I'll give you a chance that if you'd like to decorate inside your art journal books or your covers, and I'll show you real quick the back of mine which is a map and then I just added some cute stickers these ones are from Birch and Birdie with this adorable little Etsy shop that's based here in Georgia and these little ears and backpack are from Birch and Birdie the little circles are from my Peach Life Etsy shop and these ones here are from Pretty Sheepy she has so much Disney cuteness I feel like it's always really important to share um, other shops and things you are using. And my little Totoro was from Disney. Okay, and then these little guys, um, that's Gabby Gabby from Toy Story 4. So I'm gonna be adding in more of the larger and smaller version of the Funko Pop characters. And then um, I just keep some of my larger little stationery back there. But I will show you just how I sort of decorate the inside of my cover and my Hobonichi 2020. And this is the date free one. And then this is where I'm gonna add in my coupon codes um, to shops that I like. And that way I can share those and stationery and planner shops and so on. It's a great little place to kind of keep a list, an ongoing list, and I haven't decided how I want to utilize that page yet. And then here, my eyebrows. I'm working on my eyebrows. <laughs> so I added in little photos. I'm not quite finished decorating that one yet. And then here is my January, and these are just like little photos on those days. Upcoming each live planner meetup we have our monthly planner meetup so if you're here local 
um, to Georgia. They're in Peachtree City every month. They're always the second Saturday and they're one to seven and they are free. They're complimentary little meetups. We have them in the Starbucks conference space. Okay, some more of my Disney pamphlets I've saved and added in and I'm gonna add some photos and stuff to those. And here's a little page I'm working on. I love the like little feel of like card. This looks like cards and things from when I was a kid. And again, this comes from the Flow Kids paper book. Let me see if I have that handy to show you. So they have a Flow paper book. It's this one. It's sort of just in the books in the kids department and in the bookstore where the regular version one is usually with the magazines and stuff. I'll show you that, which is the large flow book. And it just has an array of goodness that you, oops, that you can use. I'm knocking over my little Pixar light there. And this is the kid version one. And I like that the pages just need to be trimmed a pinch to fit in my A5. Okay, moving on. I have a little paper clip because the next, the other page is something I'm working on. This is from my stay with my favorite swan and dolphin at Disney World. And this comes at the hotel. So, of course, I cut that out and saved it because it's a favorite and a love. And I have a special little note here that I want to write to myself for this year. And then... I have my photos still to add. So everything's like, there's some complete, some's a work in progress. Let's see here. Here's a little page, a little bit about our meetup. This page I really love because it's about things sometimes that we think we don't like and then you never know, they end up becoming some of our favorite things. And that's with these. It's so funny because I thought, popcorn jelly bellies were like the worst thing ever and they have become my very favorite jelly belly and i love them so much and if you can believe this zoom zooms i was like eh. when friends would share with me like the zoom zooms are so cute you would love them i felt like they didn't look like the characters enough and i sort of was like not into zoom zooms which if you've ever followed my instagram or anything my etsy shop is full of zoom zooms um, I have them all over my planners, the charms, um, just everywhere. So it's hard to believe that that was something I really didn't care for. And I absolutely love now. I just have it for everything. I collect the figures, the stuffed animals, you name it. And then Gudetama. Gudetama, I thought was the worst Sanrio character they ever could have invented. And me and my friend Nutsy, we call each other Nutsy, lovely, right? from California, we used to be like, why, why? Because we love Hello Kitty and My Melody. And we're like, why would Sanrio create him? And then slowly but surely he grew on us. He's got these cute little egg yolk, sort of like little buns. Here's his little figure. They're always showing these like cute little buns and somehow in his little non-cuteness that we feel like he became so cute to us, so. Anyway, so I wanted to share about those things in my planner. And then here, this was also in the little flow paper book. And I had parakeets as a kid, the exact same colors. And ours was Fred and Ethel. So I want to put that in and do a little journal about Fred and Ethel because I don't believe I have any pictures of them. So this couldn't have been more special, perfect for me. Some little strawberry shortcake love. And okay, let's see, I'm getting close. These are just like little things, um, pre things that I'm working on that I've added in. I'd love to keep like my packaging and different little things. And I think that's it. Yep. Okay, so there's a little look into this year's, my 2020 Hobonichi Cousin, and then my Hobonichi A6. And what else did we go over? The Wonka journal <laughs> and the little Hello Kitty journal.
journals. They're just blank grid paper, but they're so perfect and you can insert a new book. So it's such a cute little cover. And I will have a few more of these. If you want to be put on a waiting list, just message me either here on YouTube or over my Etsy shop and I will put you on a waiting list. And when I get them in, if you don't happen to want it at that time, it's not a problem, I don't mind but I'd rather have you on the little list if it's something you think you're interested in because I go off that first. Um, okay, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and you have a little time to just create a little something goodness. That's why when I have time, I create a way and other times I only have time to write little thoughts or a special little quote or poem or words of inspiration, which is really important to me. So thank you so much for watching and for asking leaving comments and asking any questions you may have. I love being able to help out and I appreciate having you guys. Thank you so much.